Now we get into the interesting part of the image, and that's just the body of the compositing. So remember, we reduced contrast in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch that video on how we came about this. So remember, we reduced contrast in my last video. So now we are going to add that contrast back. So what do we do? What we using to play contrast? We're using call. So I'm just going to create two calls, just many years. And the first one, that's the one that I was going to be what we do want to so brighten the image and want to darken the image. That's what contrast is, it's just separation. So we're going to go to, into image itself and follow me because it's very important. Image. And we're going to go to apply image and we're going to apply image on this area, this one. And we can just carry the marks and put in the other ones. If you want to carry the marks, hold the alt button and then you carry and drop. If you actually want to replace, you say yes replace bam is replaced so we have to we have to make one inverse let's make this one since this one want to darken let's call this darken sorry i should have been naming all my layers sorry and uh, brighten Martin, i don't know english let's just say lights let's just say light so this is darken this light so darken on we're going to inverse it remember i told you guys how to inverse Invert max control i that's to invert the max so now this is for the darkness for the lighting so what we're going to do here is we're going to drag this down so, sorry let's change the value mode luminosity drag it down now let's look at what we're doing drag this down yes drag this down and then we drag the light up and look at that we've created a beautiful contrast in our image crazy you can really contrast in our image let's group this together and let's look at what we just did now we are lacking saturation I don't even like how this lighting area is looking let's change the marks Let's do the marks. Let's create a new marks. Let's, what's this rubbish? What's this? What's this? Delete. Let's create a new one. Let's create a new one. Let's go to select. Let's go to color range and let's go to highlights. Increase it to the fullest range and then let's just push it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it to the point where we see her face. Uh, yes, I like that. 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 Now we have that, and let's push it up just a bit. Yes, that is much better than what we were getting the other time. And I like this one. Let's change it to luminosity. So now we have that, and if you look at the, if you look at the image, we've lost color. We gain color. Color is looking a bit odd. But well, let's correct that now. Um. But well, before we color, should we just okay. Let's correct the color now. Let's correct the color now. So one thing we look at is one thing when make, when act, makeup art, when they do the makeup is the skin on the face quite different from the skin on the body and we do not want that. So we're just going to make um we're going to go to our panel and we're going to do a skin toning layer. I'd love to play this action but I guess you guys will not get it so let's start from the basics. So we're just going to pick um I'm going to select colors. You hold the alt button and then you select colors that you want to pick from the skin. Now we need a dark color. Oh, sorry. Let me this. We need a dark color. We need a high. We need a mid tone. And we need highlights. So we need those three things to actually work. Mm, I feel like this color will be more vibrant. Yeah, so there's that. Then we are going to create a gradient map. Yes, the gradient map, and we put it under our layer. Select it, and we go in, and then we select on the highlight itself. This is our highlight layer, and we have that. This is our shadow layer, we have that in there. Create a new one in the middle, and um, that's our new tones. Boom, we have that, and we click OK. Some people like to do some other things, but I just like to change it like that, and we put it on color. So now it's everywhere and we don't want that. So we're actually going to paint this ourselves. We invert the marks, reduce it to about 
30 of this one and we just go in and we're going to do, we're not going to do it on everywhere just areas that we want to blend in the color but here let's, let's just go here and do here and also do here also just areas that we really want to just blend colors together blend it everywhere we don't want it to be she has only one skin the kind of skin tone we don't want that I want to do it on the face. Those areas that you feel you want to do it differently. Was, and I'm almost satisfied with this. Uh, yeah. Just this. Bam! We are done with that. So now we want to create again. We want to create. Um, what do you call it? What do we call it? Um, vignette. So we'll hit this layer and our hello hello tool or what they call it and then we're just going to create a selection a round selection of our just hit that and then we'll hit q on our keyboard to create a quick layer mask once we hit q what we do is we go to filter we go to blow we go to partial blow and then we'll create a flow of 450 bam we hit that we hit our control i we invert the mask we hit q back again and we have our selection that is inverted so then we're now going and we hit on curves to and transfer it to our layer mask. So now all we do is we drag this down and we have this beautiful vignette. We have this very beautiful vignette. And bam, we are done with our image. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, text me if you want to see more of this stuff for did or like stuff like this and I will drop more videos for you guys Beautiful image. We can go ahead and save this do whatever you want with it Let's do a bit more. Let's do small. Let's add more things to this image itself. Remember we talked about colors so we can go into vibrance itself and then we can go down and change this to color and we push the vibrance of the image just a little bit and push the saturation just a little bit anywhere you want to push it so that's that um, we can also do something else we can color grade this so what I like doing is color grading is we create a color balance we create another color balance so we have to color balance layer remember what we did with our with our contrast groups and what we did so we can also transfer these layers of our contrast groups to our color layers let's, let's, let's just do that so that we we'll save ourselves time uh, replace yes remember I'm holding the alt button and I'm dragging and I'm dropping on it so it's going to change the max layers so on our shadows we're going to down and we pick on shadows and we just let's push the shadows let's make it cold in a way yeah cool i like i like the feel of this i like how this is looking i like it let's add the yellows into the shadows too yeah quite nice quite nice we don't want green too much of this oh that is nice now let's go to the highlights and let's do something nice let's push the reds up a bit yeah i'm just doing the opposite of what i did on the other side Add it on the mid tones. I don't want that on the mid tones. I want that on the highlights. Yeah, push it. Push it too. Mm. I don't see any difference with that. Yeah, that's that. Beautiful color grade. Let's change this color. Let's change this to color. Um, I feel like we can push this. Let's over exaggerate it. Oh yeah, now that's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful color grading. We've just color graded this image and it looks so beautiful. So if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe. Um, I would definitely be sharing more tips on how to go about editing. If you want, I can do that. 
let me know what you guys feel about this video in the comment section i know it's long and stuff like that but i feel it's worth it and you need this so um see you guys in maybe another video another day another time Ctrl G um let me stop the recording